This might just be a deal breaker for Canadians if you're looking to sign up with Coho. Hi everyone, welcome back to Money with Mark. I of course am your host Mark and this is the channel all about personal finances. So if you're trying to better your personal finances or if you're trying to find out some good strategies to help improve your wealth, then give this channel a subscribe. So in this video, I wanna talk about Coho because for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know I absolutely love Coho and I did a big review on them after three years of using Coho. It's been over four years now and there's two very, very important things that I've just kind of discovered about Coho that I think might be deal breakers. I think these two things actually might be a deal breaker. So if you are looking to sign up for Coho, it's really, really important that you know these two things. So I'm not here to waste your time, so let's jump right into it. Number one is that more stores and places, I'm realizing, are not accepting prepaid Visa cards. And Superstore, and I think Shoppers Drug Mart too, said that they're no longer accepting prepaid Visa cards as a form of payment. I just wanted to cut in here because that's a little bit of fake news. Uh, Loblaws, Superstore, and Shoppers actually do accept prepaid Visa cards. So that was a mistake on my part. But uh, the point still stands, there are plenty of companies that do not accept prepaid Visa cards. Uh, I know Hostel World is one of them, uh, PayPal is another one of them, and there's a lot of random companies where you'll be using your prepaid card and it, they just don't accept it. So the point still stands, but just to be clear, Loblaws, Superstore, and shoppers all do accept prepaid Visa cards. This is really important to know because Coho right now only offers prepaid Visa cards. So that's something that should be an instant, like, you know, a bit of a flag in the head to make sure that you know this before you fully switch and migrate from a bank account over to Coho. The second biggest thing, and this might just be a deal breaker for Canadians if you're looking to sign up with Coho, and that is that you cannot get your friends to send you e-transfers. Now in the US, things like Venmo are super popular. That's like the main way that you like exchange money when you go on a vacation with friends or do things, whatever. But in Canada, e-transfers or sending money through emails is probably the most popular way of payments between friends and family. And even sometimes with different businesses too, they all accept e-transfer. So the reason why, and I'm not exactly sure what the logistics are on Coho's end, but Coho gives you an email address and security for question, all so that you can transfer money to your Coho account. And it works very, very well too. And you send e-transfers, go right into your Coho account, easy peasy done. But the with Coho's side of things, you have to be sending from a bank account that has your name on it. And so that way it can only be coming from yourself. So you cannot give that email that Coho gives out to you you can't give that out to friends and you can't say, hey, send me email, send me an e-transfer here. It just doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. So I'm reaching out to Coho because I've been in touch with the CEO and some of the product managers there. I'm reaching out to Coho and letting them know these two things because actually I just was at a restaurant in Calgary a couple weeks ago and the waiter said that he wanted to switch to Coho, but that the e-transfer issue was preventing him from really doing that. And I think these two biggest issues are probably gonna be maybe a deal breaker for me. And that's really the only thing that's preventing me from switching from my current bank account with TD all the way over to Coho. So my plan now is to still have my bank account and hopefully reduce that to like the cheapest possible checkings account that I can and then use Coho for everything else. But those two things that Really, Coho needs to introduce uh, a regular Visa card that's not prepaid so that we can go to Superstore and Shoppers and other online businesses that don't accept prepaid Visa cards. And two, they need to figure it out somehow to give their users, Coho users, an email address which their friends can then send them money. If Coho does these two things, then I don't see any reason why a Canadian should be using a bank account. It would really make most sense that everyone transfers all over to Coho. 
because right now I've been using Coho for three years. I switched most of my stuff over to Coho, but those are the two things that are stopping me. So have you tried Coho? I wanna know. And what is preventing you from switching fully over to Coho? Coho is free, it works really well. I love it, especially all the savings features, the interest you earn on it, the credit building features. Love it, love it, love it. But these are the two barriers. What's yours? That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more personal finance videos like this one, I'm Money with Mark. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Scared Kai. Look at Kai. Such a cute little puppy, aren't you?